general wound evaluator, see about those clusters, Igor. That was also the project number four, with the main objective how to say this, meaning that it has been your opportunity to practice and be practice your perseverance to add to your speeches uh, some stuff that make it more clear, more vivid, and uh, more getting towards the hearts and minds of the audience. Let's review your speech. When you came here, then you say that uh, it would be about the porridge, and you started talking to us about the porridge. Uh, what I found from that part is that uh, indeed this, uh, the, the, you have been used in the very simple words, and it I was able to understand. And more, somewhere in the beginning of the speech, I was start feeling hungry when you were visualizing us your porridge situation, your life. That means that from language point of view, uh, it, it, it has uh, delivered some of the effects. What I also would like to mention on the, on the good side, and that's an observation, is that uh, you have been talking about the porridge, and to the certain time in the middle of the speech, I was thinking, yeah, okay, uh, what's the point about the porridge? And then immediately you say that it's like our life. Yeah, you introduce the saying, and that completely developed the topic further, and I said, oh, that's good, that's interesting idea, and I became reconnected. Uh, so I found that kind of kind of good and interesting structure from my point of view. Now to the recommendation side. So number one, I will give you one general recommendation and one recommendation which is connected to the objectives of this project. The general recommendation is similarly to previous speakers as eye contact. You have been doing some eye contact, however, most of the time the eyes were somewhere outside of the audience. So you may want to watch this point. And secondly, as I mentioned in the beginning, this species is the opportunity to practice a little bit more than usually and to make your speech super vivid. And a lot of words so that we will memorize that uh, words after your speech is done. And I think this is where you could do a little bit more. So rhetorical devices. What do we remember interesting about the porridge besides the content? That was potentially the missed opportunity. The second. You have been telling us about adding some dried fruits into your uh, porridge every morning. It was a wonderful opportunity to describe how they look like, how they smell, what you do with that, and it will add a little, much, a little, a lot more of the vivid language to your to your speech. So that overall, if I summarize on the good side, I, I find the topic and topic development interesting. And on the development side, you might want to add a little bit more rhetorical devices and vivid language to make it a really vivid speech. It's up to you typically to decide if you want to repeat it as these objectives, or you may want to accumulate this knowledge and add it specifically to your project number five. Yeah, so I'm leaving it up to you.